Hello, welcome to my channel, Claudia Mir here again. Let's talk today about Hike Vision VR and the Zero channel. As you can see, I have camera number one, two, three, and four, and here a combination of all of them, okay? So that is the Zero channel, and it's very useful to save bandwidth. As you can see, I have the measurement of the bandwidth here. I'm using the software, the NetLimiter Pro, so I can check per application how much bandwidth they are using. In this case, I'm using Internet Explorer, as you can see, I'm using around nine to 10 megabits per second. Here's the unit, okay? Let me just change here to kilobits per second. That'll be 9,000 to 10,000 kilobits per second because I'm taking a look right now at the, all of the camera at the same time using Internet, Internet Explorer, okay? So I can open here and see each one of them, how much bandwidth they're using. So it's a pretty useful software to test uh, NVRs and cameras like this and see the bandwidth. In this case, what I'm gonna do now is just disable this channel. So let's disable the channel number one and channel number two, three and four, okay? Right now I have just one channel, which is the channel number, number zero and I have all of the cameras combined. So I can see all of them. You see, I have the cars, they're moving pretty good here. And that's enough for a cell phone, for example, to have remote access. And uh, as you can see, let me check here again. And now I'm using only around 800K, okay? 100K BPS. It's a lot of bandwidth saving. It's like 10 times more bandwidth if you're using all of the channels at the same time, right? So you're saving a lot of bandwidth here with just this channel here that represents all of the camera at the same time. So it's pretty useful. And you can enable or disable this zero channel in VR here on configuration. And video and audio. Here have enable channel zero encoding. You just click here and you can enable or disable. When I hit save here, for example, and you come back to live view, it's no longer there as you can see have all the cameras, but not channel zero anymore. And then of course my bandwidth goes higher again. Right now more than 13,000 kilobits per second because I'm seeing all of the camera at the same time, one by one, right? So I have camera number one, number two, I can make the then full screen. Okay, it works like this, right? Let me just enable it again so you can see it with the channel number number zero, of course, you won't have the same quality because you're combining every single channel in the same frame at the same time, but the bandwidth saving is huge, okay? So here, when I have the channel zero working, I have all of the camera at the same time. The quality is a little bit low with the resolution, but the frame rate is pretty good, you see? It's enough to see the motion on the street and uh, everything that's working around your premises. So it's pretty good. It's good enough, especially if you're using a cell phone. So in this case, for example, I don't need to use those extra cameras here. Just this one and I can stream for to a cell phone, for example, and have everything working pretty fine or even have this in on a website. And I have a video here in the channel that, that explains how you can have your NVR streaming to a website. You can take a look and I'm using the zero channel to do that. All right. So that's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments. And I see you in the next one.